CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.4 Explain Common Social Engineering Attacks, Threats, and Vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities A vulnerability is a weakness or flaw in a system, network, or application that can be exploited to gain unauthorized access or cause harm. Or to put it another way, these are the gaps in security that attackers actively look for. In this video segment, I'm going to highlight some of the most common security vulnerabilities that often go unnoticed. And hopefully, by the end, you'll have a solid understanding of how vulnerabilities work, why they matter, and what steps you can take to address them. First up on our list of common vulnerabilities, we have non-compliant systems. A non-compliant system is one that doesn't meet the necessary security policies or industry standards. Think of it like a factory that's missing key safety protocols. Eventually, something is going to go wrong. In IT, non-compliance could mean improper configurations or possibly the use of unauthorized applications. These systems are sitting ducks for attackers. Thus, ensuring compliance with organizational policies and regulatory requirements is crucial to reducing risk and keeping systems safe. Next, let's talk about unpatched systems. Whether you're working with an operating system, business software, or even your favorite computer game, security patches are released regularly to address vulnerabilities that have been identified. These patches help fix bugs, improve performance, and most importantly, close security gaps that hackers can exploit. When these updates are not applied, systems are left exposed to known exploits, making them easy targets for attackers. Now we can move on to unprotected systems. These are devices running without essential security measures, like antivirus software or a firewall. Think of antivirus as your system's immune system, constantly scanning for malicious software. When detected, the antivirus works to neutralize and remove the threat before it can cause any damage. On the other hand, a firewall acts as the gatekeeper for your network. It monitors incoming and outgoing traffic, deciding what's allowed to pass through based on predefined security rules. Without a firewall, your system is wide open to unauthorized access. Without both antivirus protection and a firewall in place, your system is vulnerable to everything from malware infections to hacking attempts. Another major vulnerability is using end-of-life operating systems. When an OS reaches the end of its life, the manufacturer stops providing updates, including those critical security patches. End-of-life systems are prime targets for attackers because they know no new defenses are being rolled out. If your system is running an end-of-life OS, it's time to plan for an upgrade to ensure ongoing protection. Finally, let's talk about allowing employees to use their own devices at work. While this can boost productivity and flexibility, it also introduces significant security risks. These personal devices might not have the same level of security as company-managed devices. Without strict security policies and proper configuration, these employee-owned devices can open doors to malware, data leaks, and unauthorized access to the network. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.